I'd like to explain to you the installation and use of the mid-plane pore pressure probe. In the traditional triaxial test, pore pressure is measured at the base pedestal of the test specimen. There are some disadvantages to this method of measurement. The first is that there is a significant volume of water in the pipework that leads from the base pedestal to the pore pressure transducer which is mounted outside of the triaxial cell. This means that with test specimen of low permeability there is a significant amount of time required to allow water to flow from the test specimen into the pipework to energize the pore pressure transducer. The second problem is that during the triaxial test, deformation and shear are developed in the mid-third of the test specimen. Uh, with the base pedestal pore pressure transducer, the pore pressure is not being measured at the point at which the deformation and shear are being generated. To overcome these problems, we have generated the GDS mid-plane pore pressure transducer. As its name implies, it is located at the mid-plane of the test specimen. And using this technique, we can overcome the two problems of speed of reaction and measuring the pore pressures at the place at which deformation and shear is being generated. This means that pore pressures measured in this region are more relevant to the soil properties being measured. You can see from this diagram that to get the pore pressure transducer into contact with the test specimen, we need to put the transducer inside the membrane. Uh, in the following sequence, you will see how this is achieved and the equipment used for doing it. Here is the kit that is used with the mid-plane pore pressure probe. You can see here the transducer itself with its ceramic tip, the cable, the adapter that allows the cable to go through the, the wall of the cell and the electrical connector which attaches to the data acquisition system. In addition to these components, we have an accessories kit which helps you install the mid-plane probe onto the test specimen. We have here the cutter to cut through the membrane, the pad which the cutter cuts against, the grommet which allows the probe to seal against the membrane, O-rings which also help the probe seal against the membrane, a little tool for applying the O-rings and a cable former to ensure that the cable of the probe does not interfere with the wall of the triaxial cell. The first thing we need to do is to put the transducer into the cell. At GDS we have developed this multi-port access ring to enable all types of transducer to be taken into the triaxial cell. We can make use of one of the ports by removing the blanking plug, like this. The adapter is specially designed to fit into the same hole as the blanking plug. So we lead it through with the electrical connector first. until we get the adapter close to the lead through hole. You should also note there is a, a screw here which allows the cable to move up and down the adapter. This sets the length of the cable inside the triaxial cell. You must tighten this screw to ensure you do not get leakage past the screw. You can then put the adapter into the access ring and secure it in place using a washer and nut supplied. So now we can see that the 
mid-plane pore pressure probe has been installed with access inside of the triaxial cell and with an electrical connector on the outside of the triaxial cell. Now we need to attach the transducer to the test specimen. You can see here we already have a test specimen in place with a hole cut in the membrane. Uh, I, I will now show you how to cut the hole in the membrane and install the transducer in place. To cut the hole in the membrane we have a special cutting tool with a very sharp edge to it. We cut against a, a pad to ensure that the reverse side of the membrane is not damaged. Position the pad in the centre or approximately in the centre of the membrane. Take the cutter and press hard against the pad. Twist the cutter at the same time. You can then remove the part of the o-ring, part of the membrane scored by the cutter to leave a circular hole the same as the one that you see in the membrane here. So the membrane is prepared on the test specimen and we now need to get the grommet in place. The first stage is to put the o-rings over the end of the transducer like so. Slide the grommet over the transducer until it is flush with the end of the porous disc. You may find it helpful to smear a small piece of silicon grease around this area before applying the grommet. So here we have the grommet flush with the end of the transducer. We now need to put the o-rings on this part to help seal the grommet against the outside of the transducer. To do this we have the uh, tool for placing the o-rings. You see that there is a taper at one end. This must face away from the transducer. You can slide the tool along the cable until it locates on the back end of the transducer. The o-rings can then easily slide up the tool until they drop into place behind the grommet face. So here we see we have two o-rings that are holding the grommet against the transducer. So we can remove the tool now and we have the, the grommet securely fixed in place against the outside of the transducer. The next stage is to get the transducer underneath the membrane. We can use the elasticity of the membrane to enable us to do this. Take part of the membrane, stretch it sideways and slide the grommet underneath. being careful not to damage the test specimen. Now the mid-plane pore pressure probe is held against the test specimen and is sealed against the cell pressure entering into the test specimen. As soon as cell pressure is applied, the seal here will become complete and the higher the cell pressure, the better the seal will be uh, and you will end up with good contact against the test specimen. Okay. We can now see the cable is in place, the transducer is in place, there is a clip on the cable to form the shape of the cable 
so that when the cell top goes on, it doesn't interfere with the cable. And we can see this just as an example by placing the cell top over the test specimen. And so we can see that the test specimen is in place. We have a connection to our data acquisition uh, and the cable is free within inside the triaxial cell.